hello everyone welcome back to tech genie so today in this video i will be explaining that how to reduce the ping and latency and increase the internet speed on your windows 10 and windows 11. now before starting let me clarify that these optimization will only work if you have the good internet connection and the plan from your internet service provider all right but if there is any kind of issue with your isp then probably these optimization will not work Okay, so after applying all these solutions, still if you do not find any result, then speak to your ISP and complain them that why you are getting so high ping and latency and low internet speed. All right, so let's quickly get started. So the first thing that we have to do, we need to find out that what exactly is occupying the maximum bandwidth because of which we are getting the low internet connection speed and high ping and latency. So for that, right click on the Windows icon click on task manager from the left hand menu option click on performance then click on the three dot at the right and top click on resource monitor here from the top menu option click on network now this will show you all kind of application occupying the maximum bandwidth and below in the tcp connection you can find the packet and the latency rate okay so you have to look for any kind of application and whichever you feel that you don't use all the time, you will have to close it from here. Okay, so that these bandwidth can be used for other processes that you want to use. So what you will have to do from the top in the network activity, look for the application, right click on it and end process tree. Now part of the application, I can see that there are some kind of services like svchost.exe that is occupying a lot of bandwidth and basically this is also a cause of high ping and the latency okay so what next we have to do close it click on your windows search type services then from the suggestion click on services app now here in the services you have to look for a service called sysmain so come to the s section and keep scrolling down until you find sysmain once you get it make a double click on it and in the startup type it should be selected to automatic you have to choose it to disabled then you have to click on a stop click on apply and then click on ok and now you can close it next we have to update all the network adapter that we have on this computer so right click on the windows icon then from the suggestion click on device manager in the device manager you have to look for network adapters double click on it and this will display your wi-fi and ethernet driver so if you use both of them then you have to update the driver for both of them and in case if you're using only the wi-fi then do the same with the wi-fi so make a right click on it choose update driver and if you are connected with internet then click search automatically for drivers and if there is any kind of update available it will automatically update it but if not then you will be getting this kind of message next do the same with the lan adapter right click on it update driver search automatically for drivers so as of now on my end there is no update available but if you have then you go ahead and update it now in the next step we have to disable the metered connection so that basically is for the people who want to save some kind of bandwidth uh, but we have to disable it because it slowed down the connection so right click on the windows icon from the suggestion click on settings then from the left hand menu option click on network and internet now click on the connection whichever you are connected to or whichever you are using like i am connected with the wi-fi so i will click on it then click on your wi-fi name and here is scroll down a bit and you will find the metered connection and if you read here it says some app might work differently to reduce data usage when you are connected to this network so you will have to disable this option then go back and do the same with the ethernet also if you use the ethernet connection so click on ethernet and here you'll find a metered connection make sure it's been disabled again go back and here make sure that there is no vpn connected so click on it and if any kind of vpn is connected then disable it and even you have to look for the proxy and if any proxy has been connected or running then you have to disable it once done close it and now next we have to change the limit reservable bandwidth 
so by default 20 percent of the bandwidth is occupied reserved by the windows services and so we only get the 80 percent of the bandwidth so what we can do we can change it to 90 percent and keep this to windows service for only 10 percent all right for that what you will have to do click on your windows search type gp edit from the suggestion click on edit group policy the group policy editor will be up now in case if you are not able to open it then probably you are using uh, windows 11 or 10 home basic edition so for that i have already created a video you can check that video and enable this option now once you come up here from the left hand menu option under computer configuration click on administrative template once you click on it on the right hand side click on network double click on it scroll down and you will find qos packet scheduler double click on it then you will find limit reservable bandwidth again make a double click on it another box will be popping up now here you have to select this to enabled and in the bandwidth limit it should be 80 you have to make it to 90 then click on apply and then click on ok now you can close it next you need to click on your windows search type ncpa.cpl hit the enter key now here you will find all kind of your network connection so through whichever you are connected like with the wi-fi make a right click on it then click on properties and in the properties here you will find ip version 6 that is internet protocol version 6 now most of the people they are not using it but it's still its services are running in the background and occupying a lot of bandwidth so what you have to do simply uncheck this option once done click on ok again make a right click on the wi-fi adapter click on properties click on configure another box will be popping up here from the top menu option click on power management uncheck this option that says allow the computer to turn off this device to save power uncheck it then from the top menu option only click on advanced and here we have to make some changes and the first one is the fat channel intolerant so click on it and from the right hand side in the value drop down select to enabled okay so this will be improving the internet connectivity so just keep this option to enabled then you will find roaming aggressiveness click on this and then from the drop down choose it to lowest if you are close to your router okay so if you are close to your router keep this to lowest so that you can get the best internet connectivity and the best signal but if you are far away from your router then you can keep this to medium low okay so just make sure it's been selected to lowest in the preferred band if you have the 5 gigahertz band supported on your computer and your wi-fi then make sure it's been selected to prefer 5 gigahertz band once you are done click on ok again make a right click on the wi-fi adapter click on properties make a double click on internet protocol version 4 and here we will be using the fastest dns server that will be of cloudflare so choose the second option that says use the following dns server address and in the preferred you have to type 1 1 1 and 1 and in the alternate you have to type 1 0 0 and 1 then click on ok and click on ok and now next we also need to disable the dynamic ticking if you don't use the battery saver option all right so in case if you are not concerned about your battery and you don't worry about the backup then disable this option so that you can get the maximum bandwidth and the best internet connection speed so for that close everything click on your windows search type cmd right click on the command prompt click run as administrator then click on yes the black window will be up now here you have to run a single command that you will find in the description so you can copy and paste so the command will be bcd edit space forward slash set space disable dynamic tick space yes once done hit the enter key and it will say the operation completed successfully now you have to run two more command here that will be netsh space winsock space reset and the last command will be ipconfig space forward slash flush dns again hit the enter key all right so finally we are all done now and after completing all these steps 
you will have to finally uh, restart your router modem and your computer and after that you will find that the internet speed has been boosted and your ping and the latency has been reduced so that's all guys for today hopefully after applying all this solution will surely find the difference and as i said that this optimization will only work if you are getting the proper internet speed and the ping from your isp and if you find this video helpful do not forget to like and subscribe and i see you in the next video bye bye